Hi guys, how are you? So I am doing my very first ever monthly favourites video. I don't know if I'll do this every month, I'll see how it goes because I don't really kind of stray away from a lot of things that I like. I can't, if I like something I tend to stick with it, like I just, I stick with it. I ask the boyfriend, like food, um, mainly food, <laughs> mainly food and that kind of stuff that, you know, I won't stray away from, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, yeah, and it's kind of the same, you know, like beauty products and clothes and I, I just tend to stick with the same things. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how we get on. If I find that I like other things during the month of November, I will do a November favourites, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. So the stuff that I have to show you is mainly like makeup and beauty products. Because I absolutely adore makeup, like I love it. And uh, just so you know, I have a tutorial on this look, and it'll probably be going up after this video. If not, I'll link it down below. And when it does go up, I will again link it down below if I remember. If I've forgotten, please someone comment and tell me that I have forgotten to link the video. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some kind of skincare kind of products first. So the first thing I want to show you is these wipes that I got in pennies or Primark depending on where you're from and they are the uh, micellar or micellar however you pronounce that word cleansing wipes and they're for all skin types including sensitive. I adore these wipes. Like, these are great uh, as your first step to take off your makeup. They are not harsh on your skin or my skin anyway at all. So what I like to do with these is I just take one wipe and I just wipe every, all my makeup off and then I will go in with the next thing I'm going to show you just to get everything else off and then I put on a moisturizer and then I go to bed. That is usually my routine anyway in like at night anyway when I'm taking off my makeup. Um, yeah and there it goes. And yeah, you get two packets of these for one euro fifty. So I think probably like what a pound, one pound thirty. I'm not sure actually how much they would be in the UK. Um, yeah. So these wipes anyway. I forgot to read this part. So it cleanses and lifts away impurities, enriched with rose water, and they're dermatologically tested. And rose water is so so good for your skin. So um, yeah. So that's these wipes. I recommend them to everybody. So yeah, you should go get them. So the next product that I want to show you is this Garnier Micellar Water. And this is the green one. And I have, I used the pink one for a long time. And I really like it, but I don't know, this one, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's for, no, I actually know, it says it right there. It's for sensitive skin. I have sensitive-ish kind of skin. Uh, so it's a combination of sensitive skin. So yeah, they, I use this then after I use the Missler wipes just to get rid of any makeup I may have missed or I think makeup that's gotten kind of, you know, clogged into my pores. So yeah, and this is amazing for me anyway to get rid of waterproof mascara. And waterproof mascara can be an absolute pain in the ASS. Like, oh my God, it can be such a nightmare. But yeah, I put this on a little cotton pad and I just leave it on my eye for 30 seconds and then I gently wipe away because you be so, so careful around your eyes. The most sensitive part. Yeah, and I absolutely love this. I've had this for a while now and you know, it's, it's well loved and I use it every single day. I also use this before I put my makeup on. So I use it um, when I go to bed and then again before I put my makeup on in the morning. So yeah, it's, I use this at least twice a day. Yeah. So I recommend everyone going out and buying some sort of micellar water because it's just amazing. The next thing I want to show you, this is kind of an oldie now here on YouTube and it is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, the sensitive one. And I really do enjoy putting this on before I put on my foundation. I just think it makes my foundation sit really well on my skin. It doesn't have the most amazing staying pe power so, you know, if I'm just kind of going out for a dinner or something like that, then this is fine. But I would sometimes put, you know, like the Benefit Professional on top of it or the Rimmel, what's it called? 
the Rimmel Lasting Finish. That's what the Rimmel Lasting Finish uh, primer as well. Sometimes I put that on top, just you know, for a bit of uh, uh, words are failing me. Just for a bit more, I suppose priming action. Um, yeah, for my foundation. Yeah. So, but yeah, I really, really like this. I just think it's such a good product, such a good find. And um, thank you, Luxaria. Luxaria, Luxaria. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm so sorry, girl. Um, yeah, but Luxaria, she got me onto that first. And then, of course, Nikki, Nikki Tutorials uh, said it as well. And then it was just a big phenomenon. And yeah, so it kind of spread from there. But I had this before Nikki Tutorials actually said it. So yeah, I, I felt great. Thank you, Luxaria. Um, okay, let's, let's keep going. Uh, what I say next? Um, I suppose I'll say this one next. So, um, for my brows, I like to use this powder. Now, the odd time I will use the uh, the NYX. Uh, what's it called? The Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. But this is kind of my ride or die uh, eyebrow palette, and it is the Work the Color Eyebrow Kit from Collection. And I just tend to mix these two shades, the middle. The light one and the middle shade. I kind of just mix them together. And for me, I think it gets me the perfect um, brow. And I use this, which is also one of my favourites for this month. This is the Kiko 204 brush. And it, this is just amazing for your eyebrows. It just gets them into such a nice fine point because it is, like, I mean, look at that. It's, it's so sharply angled. Uh, there's an Essence one as well that's really, really good for your eyebrows, but this has just been my go-to for years. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so that's just one brush I wanted to talk about. There's another brush in here as well. Um, yeah, so that's for my eyebrows. I use those too, so there's kind of a combo. Um, I'll continue on with the brushes for the moment. My favourite powder brush uh, for a long time now uh, has been the Real Techniques Powder Brush. That's what, yeah, it's called a powder brush. Um, I absolutely love this. It's really, really soft and it's really, really fat. And I just love this for like, you know, pressing powder onto my face and just working it in and then blending it all out then when it's been worked into the skin. I just think this is a great brush. I can't remember how much it costs. Um, but yeah, I recommend this brush. I highly, highly recommend this brush um, because it's just so good and um, it's kind of in between you know, kind of cheap and uh, high-end prices now. Like, it's, it's a great quality brush. Um, yeah, so I, I would just kind of categorise that as somewhere in the middle. So, yeah, I advise, recommend everyone to go and get this brush. It's a brilliant brush. I actually have two of them. Yeah, because I like it that much. So, continuing on with the brushes. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that this brush is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite brushes for the eye. And it is the... Essence Eye Blender, it's just called the Eye Blender. This is the Eye Blender brush. Um, you can get this in pennies, Primark, depending on uh, where you're from. Um, there's a lot of like, chemists, ke la, 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 la. there's a lot of chemists that stock Essence products as well. And this is one euro 90 cent. I have so many of these. When I go into pennies, it's very seldom I will come out without one of these. Very, very, very seldom. If they have them, I usually grab whatever's left because they are, um, and a, it is an amazing brush. One euro ninety cent. Like you cannot go wrong with this brush. So yeah, you should definitely, definitely go and get this brush. Definitely, one euro ninety cent. Come on, come on, just, just go stop this video and just go out and buy it now. Go on, bye. You can come back to it later. <laughs> okay, the next uh, thing I want to show you, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I absolutely love love this palette and it is the sleek solstice palette and it has the names of the highlighters oh my god seriously here it has the names of the uh, the highlighters in here but i don't know which is which so i i always just say you know like the purple shade the orange shade the yellow shade i never use the cream one it's just I don't really like to cream contour or contour cream highlight. I'm not really into that. But um, yeah, so I use the like the purple or the orange or the yellow one here. They are my favorite. 
favourite highlighters. I'm wearing the purple one on my cheeks now because I kind of want to just match the eyes, you know. And yeah, so I am forever tagging sleek makeup in my posts on Instagram because I absolutely love this palette. This is my ride or die palette. I absolutely love it and I would recommend everyone to go out and buy this palette because it's amazing value for money and it's just so so good and I think it just complements so many different skin tones as well so yeah so I would just yeah just go buy the palette I've made people buy this palette because I think it's amazing so yeah okay sticking with palettes I have this palette here and I've actually done a tutorial using this palette I will link that below and it is the I Heart Makeup, the I Heart Chocolate Palette and oh it's just so so pretty. It is pretty much, I've been told anyway, pretty much a dupe for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes. Now I don't own that palette, I would like to, but I don't own that palette. So I bought this one when I was over in England. I got it in Superdrug and it was actually on offer. So I think they're normally about 10, 11 pound and it was an offer. I got it for seven pound, seven. So I bought the pink one as well. But I haven't, I haven't really played the pink one all that much. I've been playing with this one a lot, mainly for. I, I said this in my in my video. This shade here, I absolutely love the shade. What's it called? It comes with this as well. Uh, it's called What a Way to Go. So it has all the names of the shadows on this thing here, and I like to keep that in there so I know what the colors are called. Yeah. So I absolutely adore this palette, and it is such a bargain. Like you're not gonna find a, such a good quality. Um, palette for what well, 11 pound you, you, you're just not going to find it anywhere so yeah I highly recommend that I yeah well obviously these are my favorites so I'm going to highly recommend everything so yeah so go buy that one okay so sticking with eyes I've got two more eye products that I would like to show you the first one is the NYX proof it uh, it's waterproof eyeshadow primer you know if that could be waterproof. I don't know. I, I don't know how I would test an eye primer because like they don't make your shadows waterproof because you know I've cried with eyeshadows on and I've used this and my eyeshadows has gone everywhere. So yeah but it is good for me because I have quite oily skin and I get oily eyelids so I feel that this makes it last um, so much longer than other eyeshadow primers. Now I kind of just use this Oh, well, no, la, la, la. I use this when I want my eye, my eyeshadows to stay on for like all day like if I'm working uh, like I usually have very long shifts in work so you know I like to use this because it keeps my eyeshadows on all day and I absolutely love it. Uh, the next eye thing I want to show you is the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. I prefer, I would prefer to get the matte one but every time I go to buy it they're sold out. They're always sold out in the black matte one so I have the vinyl one but I absolutely love it it's got a really really thin brush which I love and I can just create a nice little line with this brush and yeah I absolutely adore this product and I can't remember how much it is but um <coughs> excuse me ah uh, lipstick but um yeah so I just think this is a great liquid liner um I would I wouldn't recommend this to beginners because it can be a little bit hard to work with because it is such a thin brush and for want of a better word it's a bit flimsy kind of yeah it, it moves a lot so I wouldn't recommend this to a beginner but you know kind of an intermediate yeah definitely play with this uh, one it is I just absolutely love it I'm wearing it on my eyes today you can't really see, you can kind of see it there at the end you can't really see it too much because of the, the lashes that I'm wearing and uh, actually no sorry I have one more um, I think and it is the lashes that I'm wearing and I don't think I'm actually going to get another use out of these lashes and that makes me really, really sad but I have the packaging here and it is the Girls With Attitude and it's glamour for sexy stunning lashes. It says fabulously light, easy to, re to apply, reusable. It has glue with it but I don't use the glue. Um, I use the dual lash glue. Um, which yeah, that's actually part. That's actually part of this one. It goes part and parcel with this one. So yeah, I use this one, which I absolutely love. I think it's a, it's a great one because it has a little brush with it. Yeah, so let's go back. Let's go back in the drawer now. But yeah, I absolutely love these. And I, I I got these when I was over in England when I was in Birmingham. Was it when I was in Birmingham or was I in Liverpool? No, it was when I was in Liverpool actually. 
with uh, with my family. And yeah, I picked up two packets of these because I just wanted to play with some lashes. And I think they're only like one pound fifty or two pound. And I just wish I'd picked up about fifty pairs of these because they are amazing. I absolutely love them. I barely feel that I'm wearing them. When I put on false lashes, I feel them. I just cannot wait to rip them off at the end of the day. I don't wear them that often, if I'm honest. I don't really wear false lashes. It's just, I work with children and, you know, I don't really want to be putting false eyelashes on every day. I'm going to work in a crash and, you know, it's, it's not worth it. Simple as, just, it's just not worth it. But yeah, so if you see these in your local Primark or if you see them in pennies, if you see them in pennies, let me know because then I can go there. I can't go to Primark because I live in Ireland. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Definitely, definitely get them. They're so easy to apply. They go on so quickly, and I just absolutely love them. I think that's it for the eyes. I'm just having a quick look at my thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's it for the eyes. Uh, oh no, it's not. Oh my God, Kira, seriously, sort your life out. This mascara is the NYX. Not the name. Oh my god. It's the Urban Decay Perversion. Uh, bigger, blacker, better. Mm. And this is just the travel size version. I think I have the full size or sample version. Sorry, I think I have the full size version somewhere, but I don't know. It's probably in my drawer. This drawer here. Is it, is it like a big one? I do, yeah. So yeah, I'm obviously going to open that when I have the, the sample version. So yeah, I absolutely love this mascara. Okay, is that, is that everything there for the eyes? Yes, yes it is. Right, let's let's keep moving. So my favorite powder, and you, this has been in all my videos now for a while. It is the Collection Press Powder. You can see mine is well loved. Yeah, I've hit pan badly. I need to, I need to get a new one. And this is in the shade Ivory because I am so pale. And one of my favorite things to do with this is when I'm setting my concealer, I use a puff which I cannot see at the moment it's just an elf one that I got um, a while back with my HD powder and yeah I just I like to just press it in and just press it onto my eyes and if I um have primer on oh my god words about primer on as well my one of my favorite ways now to prime my eyes is to use concealer um just you know kind of everyday kind of thing and yeah, so I just press that on top and it sets, sets my eyes. And then I just pick up my powder brush, this one here, and then I just set the rest of my face using this brush. So yeah, this is my favorite powder right now. I just think it's a great powder. And yeah, I love it. So sticking with the face, my favorite bronzer at the moment is from Wet n Wild. And this is the Dolce de Leche uh, Contouring Palette. And yeah, this one is great for my skin tone because I am so pale and yeah, you can, I, yeah, you can kind of see there. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really contour with this. I think it's a bit warm anyway for contouring, but I do bronze a bit with this. I'm wearing it today. And yeah, I just think it's a great uh, bronzer for pale skin. I do recommend getting it. I think it's a seven or eight euro. I could be, I could be wrong. It could be like fiber. Um, okay, so I say between five and ten euro anyway for this, and um, yeah, I recommend to get this if you are pale. And they also have a darker one, which I have, which is called Caramel Toffee. I just bought it. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if that's any good. But if you have some darker skin, then yeah, like well, tans, you know, I wouldn't recommend it for really dark skin tones. But yeah, if you have um, like sallow skin, I would recommend the other one. Or well, I'd say try the other one, but if it's as any good as this one, then it should be amazing. Um, okay, so the next makeup item I want to show you is my favourite foundation at the moment. It is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Foundation. And this is Skin Brightening with Vitamin C in it. And this is my one. It's well loved. I need to get a new one. And I'm in the shade Light Porcelain because, yes, I am so pale. And yeah, and my favorite way to apply this foundation is to just dot it over my face and I will blend in either using a Real Technique sponge or one of the H&M Beauty sponges. So yeah, um, this, at the moment anyway, my favorite foundation to use. Uh, so my concealer, my favorite concealer at the moment is the Collection, collection Lasting Perfection 16-hour uh, wear concealer and I am in the shade Fair 
one I think yeah it says fair one so that's my favorite one and I just you know the triangles under the eyes and I tend to prime with this as well when I you know just for work kind of stuff because I don't wear a lot of eyeshadows when I'm going to work I wouldn't wear this going to work this is that just this just a way to sell eyeshadow to wear this to work now this is this just for fun so yeah so I like to do that and then like I said I just blend it in with my sponge and then I will uh, set it with the pressed powder also from collection my favorite lip product this month has been the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and this is in the shade Cherry Skies and it is an amazing color. My only problem with this is it does dry pretty much matte, not completely matte, but I find those that are quite drying on my lips so I don't wear them as much as I would like to but this color is just so pretty. So yeah, but I find when I wear this, I have to keep reapplying it during the day, like a lot during the day. And I definitely, definitely have to exfoliate my lips then when I take this off. I just have to. If I don't, then I have really, really chapped lips, which I did have in my last video. I had really chapped lips because I was wearing, I don't think, I wasn't wearing this one. I was wearing a different colour. But I was wearing, you know, one of these and my lips were so chapped and I just wiped it off and that was it, whatever, and went to bed. And the next day my lips were so chapped. So yeah. That's why I wore lip gloss in my last tutorial. <laughs> I didn't wear lipstick, but yeah, I digress. So I think that's it for makeup, but I haven't really been having the greatest look with, okay, no, I haven't mentioned this. Okay, no, yeah, see, I found something. Um, This is my kind of go-to blush at the moment, and it is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I This is a rediscovered love of mine. I remember I used to love this blush so much and it is passion pink and I had to write it on the back I put on a sticker and write it on the back because like there wasn't there was no name on it when it came in and I was like no I want to know what it's called but it's one of their baked blushes and it's just got like different colors in there and there's a bit of a shimmer to it as well which I am loving I normally don't like that really but you know it just gives off you can't really see it too much there but it just gives off a nice color and a bit of a sheen to it and I just think it, I'm wearing it today and I just think it looks lovely and then you put a highlighter and your bronzer I just think it just blends in whatever eye makeup you're wearing I've worn that with neutral ones I'm obviously wearing like a really uh, dramatic eyeshadow at the moment and I'm wearing it with that and I just think it is amazing so yeah um, you can get it on eyeslipsface or elf.co.uk or eyeslipsface.com depending on where you're from and yeah I'm not sure how much it is it's under five it's under five or anyway under five pound or five dollars where depending on where you're from but yeah if they still have it I'd recommend it I'm not sure if they still have it on their website but you know hopefully they do okay so I hope that's it now for makeup yeah I think that's it for makeup I don't really have too much now that isn't makeup um one thing that I have been loving, um, I adore candles and I don't know what it is about this. Like, to be honest, when you smell it, it just, it, it doesn't smell great. Like, it's from Pennies. I got this in Pennies and it was only, it was three euro, was it? Yeah, it was only three euro. And it has like kind of a, it's vanilla mint leaf and it has a bit of a Play-Doh smell off it. Yeah, but I like mint. I really like the smell of mint. So I was like, I'll give it a go. And I, when I burned this, it smelled really, really nice. I think because the mint kind of masks the kind of Play-Doh vanilla smell. I don't really like uh, the vanilla candles from Penny's. Um, but yeah, it just kind of masks the, the Play-Doh vanilla smell with the mint. And the mixture is really, really nice. I find it really, really relaxing. And yeah, I just absolutely love this. I don't know if they're selling them anymore, but you know, it's one of my favorites for this month so yeah if you see it I would re to be honest I'd recommend buying it and burning it if you like the smell of mint if you don't then leave it um so the last two things is that things yes so the last two things um the same brand just different smells are two perfumes that I have been well body body sprays kind of thing that I have been loving now the past month and they are the Zoella Beauty um fragrance body mist and this one is in sweet inspirations and this one is in let's spritzed so the sweet inspirations 
obviously it's a very sweet smell. It kind of reminds me of like kind of cookie. No, no, it reminds me of cookies a little bit. But... Mm. Depends on, it kind of reminds me of my teenage years and you know going out and everyone wearing uh, like you know like kind of Britney Spears fantasy kind of smell to it. Yeah, but anyway, I have been liking this one. I kind of been wearing this kind of kind of every, oh my god talk I've been kind of wearing this more every day type thing and then um I kind of I slightly prefer this one so I haven't been using it as much I kind of use this when I'm going out it just uh I don't I, I don't know how to describe smells it just reminds me of another perfume I can't remember what it is but I know I loved it anyway and these are 10 euro and I got these I think I got these in pennies I got both of them in pennies I didn't know I got them in super drug no I got both of them in super drug I know this one is available in pennies I haven't seen this one in pennies but yeah so they were both 10 euro which is a bargain and I absolutely love them the staying power isn't great with these um you kind of have to bring it with you but I really, really like it um yeah so I, I I'd recommend these okay so is that everything uh yeah I think so I don't see anything else anyway on, on my desk in front of me so that is it for my October favorites I really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up also you can stop me on social media you can follow me on Facebook Twitter Snapchat and Instagram all of that is face of Kira and um, if you have anything you would like to say to me, then just please put it in the comments down below and I will get back to you if I can. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.